Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome, welcome back to the uh, to back to work. You know, summer is over. I hope everybody had a great time. You know, I went to Italy myself. It was phenomenal. It's great, and and in fact, on the on the on sort of on the spur of the moment, and also the beginning of the new season, we are very excited to talk about once again Italy. But this time around, of course, love and romance. Of course, we all need that. So this is today. Uh, webinar is love and romance in Italy, which is you know of course uh, in everybody's mind, and we are uh, you know uh, want to make one more case to to uh, to explain to all of you why uh, it's even better in Italy. Now this is of course a webinar organized by Italian National Tourist Board of U.S. and Canada. We want to thank all of you that take a, take your time to actually spend this um, uh, hour with us to learn more about Italy. All our friends from the U.S., from Canada, and of course from Mexico and Puerto Rico. Welcome, welcome. We are happy to have you here with us. Now, for all the people, once again, maybe you're rusty after the summer, a couple of housekeeping things. If you are, uh, you know, seeing uh, this uh, webinar, it means that you are, you are most likely your um, uh, camera is off and your microphone as well. But you can ask questions during the course of the presentation. You can do so by using the chat box, which is on the menu on the up right corner of your screen. You'll see it's all the way uh, down. You click on it, you ask questions. Most of the questions will be replied by the people attending the chat line. If at the end of the presentation we will have time, I'll read a couple of questions to the speakers, but do not worry. All your questions, the one that are answered and also the one that were not answered, will be forwarded to them so they can actually reply to you later on via email. On top of that, we're going to have a few uh, videos today. And again, if it's the first time or you have been on with us before, you know by now that you have to opt for the view full screen option, which once again in the same menu on the upper right corner on the screen, I believe is the last icon. You click on it and the, uh, that will allow the video to expand and cover the entire length of the screen so you can fully appreciate the imagery that our guests are sharing with us today. Now. Before we actually get to the speakers, you see we have a full panel, so I'm trying to uh, uh, push forward. We have a brief introduction with um, the, the Johnny Piemonte, who wanted to be with us and have a small uh, sort of welcome video that we want to share to all of you, and then we'll get to the speaker. So let's show the video of the Piemonte, and then we'll get to our speakers.
All right, beautiful, beautiful original Piemonte. In fact, we actually, you will see, we also, we're gonna go more in depth with uh, Piemonte, but not just Piemonte, the rest of Italy as well. Now, uh, let's get to the panel that we have in front of us. We have a presence here today that she will not talk, but she's uh, been very instrumental in making all this possible, of course. And I'm, I'm talking, of course, Laura D'Ambrosio. She's the division, she works at Division Wedding for the Convention Bureau of Italia. Ciao, Laura, wave. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Thank you very much. You made it possible. So she, of course, is uh, a point person uh, and repository of a lot of the questions. So because, you know, of affiliation with the Convention Bureau, of course, she will be very instrumental in understanding, connecting to the speakers today. But now let's get to the people speaking. So thank you very much for being with us, Laura. Now let's get to them. To, to them. First and foremost, we have Tiziana Bologna. She is, you know, responsible, she's responsible mice. She's the one in charge for mice at Visit Piemonte, apropos. So we just saw a beautiful video of Piemonte. We will then eventually talk to her. Ciao, Tiziana. I'm going to uh, mute you just so that you can say at least something to the people here. Perfetto. Ecco ti va. Voilà. Ciao, Tiziana. Ciao, ciao, Francesco. Ciao, to everybody. Well, so Thank you. I'm going to have also Erika Mori, she's the wedding and private event specialist for Rome Cavalieri Hilton and the Hilton Molino Stacchi of Venice. Ciao. Ciao, welcome everybody. Welcome okay. to Italy. Thank you very much. Thank you for being with us. Now, we're moving now to Beatrice Gimeno, Jimeno, co-founder of mm -hmm. Authentico Hotels. Ciao Beatrice. Ciao, buongiorno a tutti. Thank you Benvenuta. for being here. And now Grazie. she's, of course, not Giacomo Maida, <laughs> as the name says. We had a last minute change, but you know, we are very happy to have her. It's Roberta Maccanico. She's, get ready because this is a long one. She is a <laughs> cluster marketing and contact executive for Hyatt Centric Murano and Hyatt Centric Milano. Am I right? Hi, everyone. Perfect. Okay, welcome. Now, Let's get let's get started. Tiziana, we are in a beautiful square. I am guessing you are somewhere in Piedmont. You're going to tell us where you are. Take it away. Why should we come and visit you to have our event and weddings? Okay, yes. Hello to everybody. Yes, I'm uh, in Torino now at the moment in the central square of the city. It's uh, called the Piazza Carignano. I will give you just a few information about the highlights of uh, Piemonte as a wedding destination. Uh, just to give you an idea, uh, an idea of where Piemonte is, Piemonte is a northwest region of Italy uh, at the border with France and uh, Switzerland. It's an easy destination to reach thanks to two main airports. One is the Turin International Airport, but we also have an intercontinental airport in Malpensa. And uh, Piemonte has a wide range of uh, special locations different landscapes and um, special settings. And thanks to a particular blend of uh, old traditions and then um, a contemporary approach, uh, we can say that Piemonte is an ideal uh, destination uh, for experiential weddings. And uh, thanks to the diversity of its territory, I would say that uh, Piemonte can host the weddings uh, almost all over the year. So we can find different solutions for any kind of uh, need. And um, well, we have a peculiarity in Piemonte that we have over 300 castles and historical buildings. And the last, last data referring to 2019, just before the pandemic, uh, show that uh, almost 4,000 weddings out of a total of uh, 12,000 weddings. Uh, weddings have been organized and hosted in castles and historical buildings where we have disseminated in the whole region. Right. And uh, another peculiarity is that for any experience or choice, any solution you, you can choose for your wedding, uh, you will have the guarantee of a top quality food and wine experience. Nice. And uh, we have mainly uh, three areas I would recommend uh, I would recommend for the okay. organization of weddings. Uh, first of all, I will start from Torino. Torino is the capital city. Uh, that's of where the you region are right Piemonte. now, isn't it? That's where you are right now. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. So what are we looking at? What do you have behind you? 
Behind me, you can see the Palazzo uh, Carignano, which mm -hmm. hosts an important museum, the Renaissance Museum. And it's also very important because inside there is the first Italian parliament, oh, because wow. Torino was the first Italian capital. Then it was moved to Florence and now to Rome. So gotcha. it's a very important building. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, Torino, uh, Torino is very famous because it's a UNESCO site, thanks to the Royal Residences uh, complex. It's a complex of 22 royal palaces and uh, villas in and uh, around the Torino. Some of them can be used for wedding organization. And um, these um, palaces were built between the uh, 17th and the 18th centuries. They were used by the royal Savoy family for over 250 years. And some of them were used as a hunting facilities. Oh, wow. I would recommend Torino for very chic and sophisticated weddings. We have really very special locations because you can rent the Mole Antonelliana, which is the symbol monument of the city, it's the, big, uh, the tall tower we have in the city center. Inside, we have a famous National Cinema Museum. You can rent the terrace uh, for having wow. a, a reception. So it's a really a special location for weddings. It really is. I saw that for the first time a few years ago, and I was taking it back. Sorry if I interrupt you, but one thing I wanted to add, I think this is very apropos for Torino. If there is one town, one city in Italy that probably have done uh, event quite a bit, it has to be Torino just simply because of you know the presence of fiat, of course, that people in the United States yeah. maybe recognize. So it's, yeah. a, it's a town that is used to the corporate events, of course, but also, as you are adding, also for the charming part of the city, which is an extremely elegant city. And if I may add, again, as a visitor, I'm from Florence, so you know I I did I do mm -hmm. live in the most beautiful city in the world. But um, uh, Torino is extremely charming because it does have the kind of feel of almost a non a non Italian city, like almost looks like uh, uh, even Paris in some cases. You know, see the lantern there, so it has yes. that sort of nice, quaint, beautiful, and it's uh, mm -hmm. it's perfect for uh, for for that for for that purpose. So go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you can have other uh, very special solutions. For example, you can uh, rent part of the Egyptian Museum, which is the second most important museum of this kind in the world. The first one is in Cairo, in Egypt. Or you can uh, have another, uh, how would I say, traditional solution in the Carignano Theater, which is in this square. It's oh. the oldest the theater we have in the city. It dates oh, nice. back to the beginning of the 18th century, and it can be rented uh, entirely uh, for wedding organization. Perfect. And then Torino has uh, also particular activities to add to the organization of a wedding, uh, very romantic uh, uh, solutions. For example, you can have a private uh, cruise on the river. <laughs> Sorry, on the river. We have the Po River, which is the main Italian uh, river which crosses uh, uh, the whole city. Or you can have wine academies in the many wine factories uh, we have just around Torino, where the most important uh, wines of the region and among the most important wines in Italy are produced. Or you can have, for example, a cooking lesson in uh, one of the um, uh, Michelin star restaurants we have in the city. This is about Torino. But we have another very important uh, area for wedding uh, for wedding uh, organization, which is the Lake District. It's in the north of our region. The Lake District is made up of three lakes, Lake Maggiore, Lake Orta, and Lake Mergozzo. It's considered one of the most uh, popular international uh, tourist uh, destinations in Italy. It's famous for the Baroque uh, palaces, especially for Liberty Villas and the top uh, quality accommodation and the hotels on the shores of these romantic lakes. Uh, it's, uh, it, it was chosen by one of the members of the family, uh, Agnelli family, uh, for a, uh, an important wedding uh, we had in 2010. Uh, and, uh, and so this area became very famous for uh, wedding planners. How, how far is that area from Torino? Uh, it's uh, about an hour. It's an hour a north. Very, okay. 
sorry, about one an hour, yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it is very close to Malpensa Airport, which is the main airport of the city with also intercontinental flights. Gotcha. So gotcha. it's, so it's all, all very easy to reach. And uh, uh, it, well, there are many things you can do in this area, private, uh, lake cruises, uh, water sports of any, any type. But it's uh, very often chosen by couples uh, uh, getting married because you can have special photos and videos shootings in the lush botanical gardens where you have secular trees sure. and over 20,000 different types of plants and flowers. Wow, fantastic. So you only have to choose. And then uh, the last and the third and the last area we recommend uh, for weddings is the Lange Monferrato Roero. Again, it's a UNESCO site thanks to the beautiful uh, vineyards uh, landscape. And um, we consider this area the, really the food and wine heart of, uh, of, uh, of Piemonte. Yeah. In, in, and in this area, we also have a, ma a major concentration of castles and the historical buildings. And I would recommend this part of Piemonte for uh, country chic uh, weddings, because you can really have a special set uh, setups. For, exa for example, you can have uh, long wooden tables among the vineyards. Yeah. So you can have outdoor receptions. And this is quite typical. Or you can also, if you, well, you can also choose luxury solutions because there are there is quite a big choice of luxury resorts yes, with yes. spa and wellness facilities. Yeah. But just and, one. And, and one... Just, yeah, sorry, if I interrupt, but just also the the fact that arguably it makes some of the best wine in the world. It doesn't hurt. Yes, no? <laughs> exactly. Both but, but red is, and white. Exactly wines uh, are produced here yeah. and also the white famous white truffle oh, comes yeah. from this area Perfect. and uh, just let, let me tell uh, let, let me give you an advice uh, yeah. uh, uh, there is a really a very special activity uh, we propose uh, uh, to wedding planners which is the hot air balloon experience oh, nice. because you can get married uh, during the flight on the hot air balloon oh, wow. which is really fantastic or if it doesn't work you can you can yeah, push some yeah, off, yeah. no i'm sorry it's not working <laughs> oh so that's fantastic no it's not working okay <laughs> so this is really a special a special experience you can have in this wow, area amazing thank you grazie tiziana i know it's hard so, that you know to put an entire region in a five ten minutes yeah, so just in I five thank minutes you for we might get back to you with more questions and i believe we have uh, yeah. a short video yeah, just a, a short video so you can have an idea of what I just told you. So enjoy the, the video grazie. and thanks for your attention. No Thank problem. you, grazie. grazie. Thank you. So we did see most of the things that uh, our friend uh, Tiziana was mentioning. Now we fly from beautiful Piemonte. I don't know exactly where because we are talking to Erika. 
And Erika could possibly be in two places. Let me see if I can guess. It's either she's either in Rome at the Cavalieri Hilton or uh, Hilton Molino Stucchi, because I'm sorry, I mispronounced the name in Venice. Where are we? Are we in Venice or in Rome? Where are we? So oh, um, I'm connecting now from Rome. I'm oh. in the Rome Cavalieri Waldorf Astoria Hotel. So I'm the wedding and private event specialist of the two beautiful hotel locations belonging to the Hilton family. So now okay. I'm connecting from Rome Cavalieri in our beautiful planetarium suite. Nice. And of course, uh, I, I cannot split myself, but I'm also uh, trying to um, give you the experience of the Hilton Molino Stucchi in Venice. Awesome. So let me thank you, first of all, to be here, to Laura, Francesco, and the Convention Bureau and uh, Italian Tourist Board that have uh, given us the possibility to introduce our locations and oh, wow. our beautiful country of Italy. So sure. um, if you don't mind, we can go ahead with the first video regarding the Rome Cavalieri. Got it. All right, nice and romantic. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. As you've seen in the video, the Rome Cavalieri is nestled in a private 15-acre Mediterranean park on the Rome's highest hilltop called Monte Mario. And the, the Rome Cavalieri is the only luxury resort in the Eternal City. Oh, wow. Um, the hotel is offering breathtaking panoramic views of Rome and the St. Peter's Dome. In a few videos, it's uh, located just a few minutes from the historic center. I mean, we are in the up to the hill of Monte Mario, but very close to the center. More or less in 10 minutes, you can reach the city center. It's the home of the Europe's most prestigious private art collection. The museum worthy masterpieces are displayed throughout our public areas and suite. The collection includes, for example, an astonished triptych by a Venetian Giambattista uh, Tiepolo wow. that you will see when you will come to the Rome Cavalieri in our main lobby. Or, for example, the edition, limited edition of Dorlar Science by Andy World inside one of our exclusive suite. Cool. The hotel has a 370 70 luxurious suite and one of them is the one I'm, I'm now hosting and welcoming you is the planetarium suite. And every, every suite is very furbished and very um, elegant. From every of our suites and rooms, you can see the view of Rome and the park outside our hotel. Nice. We can host uh, intimate and private ceremony and reception, but also big weddings, celebrations, thanks to 29 between indoor and outdoor spaces, equipped with state-of-the-art technology and supported by, by our events manager in each hotel and basically here in Rome where I am. So um, it's a huge resort a huge hotel but very intimate and you will feel the atmosphere of italian traditions so we are able to host both of the intimate and large and big events we hosted something nice we hosted a very huge and big indian weddings and the go. hotel was a entire a buyout uh, yeah. with colors with flowers with music and it was a, an astonishing event. Wow. Um, of course, um, I would like to introduce a very short video of an Indian wedding we had, and then I would like to show you upstairs the view we have yes. from our suite. We do want to see that. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at the video. So let's go on the second video. Thank you.
Nice. I mean, of course, we have a lot of space. Being a resort, we have the possibility to personalize each request and give the solutions, even also being a wedding specialist and also working with planners, we can give solutions for backup plan. That is really important for the planners to have always a backup plan, indoor spaces, very elegant, very sophisticated, to give solutions and to leave the possibility to the bride and groom to change Relax. even at the last minute. We are very happy also to host um, winter, winter weddings, because we have a, a very huge and important uh, furniture and uh, solutions inside and every of our indoor and uh, mostly our indoor space we have a very exclusive uh, uh, collections of art so sure. you can feel in the museum on the open air in each part of the hotel cool very cool yeah so are we gonna see this uh, beautiful balcony <laughs> yeah and then i go back again to introduce yes, the Molino Stucchi. So yes, go with, come with it. me. Wow. So this, so this is, is a private our balcony. Of is the private balcony of the suite where we're going of the now? Suite. Yeah, oh, nice. absolutely. So we go upstairs. You come with me on the stairs. Yes. And let me just Don't introduce. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Of course, I'm just waiting for the opening. Oh, nice. Of our windows upstairs, and here you are on the oh. high, highest view of Rome. So, uh, where you will see from your balcony the magic of the view of Rome, St. Peter's Basil Basilica, and all the amazing view. Here amenities. you are. Wow. All the exclusivity. How many, how many of these balconies? would you say are available i mean is this the only one that has this private balcony no 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 every every top suite uh so the planetarium and the penthouse had uh, have the their own top balcony. balcony but each of the bedroom has the possibility to i'm losing you for a second to have this balconies mm -hmm. so, oh wow sorry Every every rooms we have has, has their own view. balcony, and oh, wow. as you can see, you can see Rome and our swimming pool, and the gardens, and the view, Spectacular. and our gardens. Amazing. This is what every day our clients see Luca. <laughs> from their from their windows. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so let's talk about the, 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 the Venice one. That's, yes, it feels so lonely. let's go with the Venice. <laughs> of course. You want to you wanna send out the video now? Yeah, first of all. Okay, yeah, perfect. Please. Let's take a look sorry, at the video. Sorry, no problem. No, no, go ahead. Do I want to know if this feeling flows both ways? <laughs> Side to sick, oh, sort of hoping that you stay. Maybe we both know that the lights were mainly made for saying things that you can't say tomorrow day. Okay, that sounds. You think I'm lucky? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm For lucky. now. <laughs> yes, of course. So tell so, me, where, where is it exactly? Where is it located? First and foremost, yeah. I couldn't. I so the Hilton Molino Stucchi is located on the Giudecca Island. The picturesque yeah. island is a timeless place in Venice where you can breathe and live the real Venezianity populated basically and mostly by locals. It's a small, callous house, plenty of artisanal and art atelier. 
So uh, on the Judeca Island, you can find also the Redentore, the Redentore Church. That is a really an important, uh, by far the more loved and Venetian, uh, Venetian uh, veteran, venerated by Venetians. So sorry. Perfect. You got it. <laughs> and of course, it's something really uh, close to the city, in the city, I mean, very close to San Marco. And of course, the Molino Stucchi is not a typical Venetian um, hotel. Oh, um, wow. It's um, very um, industrial. It's oh. a very huge hotel, uh, really industrial and um, as a, a typical industrial architecture that you can find in Italy and in Europe. We so have from, from, there, from which era though? From which era? What are we talking about? So the original building are, is from where? Sorry? The original building is from, from what, what, what time? Was that the 60s? 50s, I mean, 40s? it was a, a mill, so it's belonged okay. in the 18th century. Oh, so, see, and, so. Uh, see, see. And um, what we have, we have the possibility even there to host big and intimate weddings. We have uh, more or less 10 between indoor and outdoor venues. We have a very huge Venetian ballroom that we can host, for example, up to 600 guests, but we have also the very exclusive Skyland bar and terraces or sky pool terraces where you can overlook completely 360 degrees the, the right. canal of Giudetta, the, the, the entire area of, Vene of Venice. We have 472 rooms. We have an exclusive and top suite called the Presidential Suite. Yeah. That is the highest and the biggest and the newest suite in Venice, recently yeah. renovated, and where we can host also inside elopements or proposal or other intimate events. Awesome. It's um, a huge hotel, very iconic, really, um, typical of the industrial and it's something that reminds in 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 our mind of uh, new york or northern europe gotcha, but with, gotcha. with the, more modern. yeah with the taste of venezianity of course perfect sounds good thank you very much for walking with your properties and now thank you erica we're jumping with beatriz yeah. now beatriz is the co-founder of the uh, authentic hotels now it's a collection of hotels i'm guessing exactly. and uh, walk mm -hmm, us through right. why your hotels should be you know the next step to have an event in italy to have a wedding in italy first and foremost welcome beatrice <laughs> thank you thank you francesco and everybody especially laura for also helping us to be here today uh first of all francesco i need to apologize to everybody because yes. as you know i'm at the airport uh, which is nice, obviously, it's fantastico, right? But uh, so I'm gonna introduce you to the fantastic collection I have yeah. the honor to represent, but afterwards I think I need to run because otherwise I'm gonna miss my no my flight. But but of course you have me at your disposal, no, any questions they will forward to me. So Got why it. to choose Authentico? Uh, Authentico Hotels is a collection uh, of family-owned properties, no? So we have the 17 hotels throughout all the country from the Dolomites to, to the Amalfi Coast. Uh, and all of them, of course, have a family behind the scenes. And that's always nice, no? especially in a country like Italy, uh, where they help out to celebrate and to make the event or the honeymoon or whatever you want to celebrate with them, like a fantastic experience, no? because they, they feel it like it's, it, they belong to, no? to, the, to the wedding or to the event. And this is always very nice. So in all the properties, you will have somebody especially the family, the owner, general manager, a key person taking care of you and your clients. No? I mean, they are all located because in order to be part of Authentico, you need to be in a great location that can be attractive, obviously, no? for an international clientele. You need also uh, to be family owned and uh, offer uh, what we call a wow experience, no? like uh, something very unique. And thus we visit all the properties. That's why I'm here today, I'm in Sardinia. Today, nice. uh, um, yeah, I'm, I feel so so blessed. Uh, and then I will have even a message for you and for you all from from the owner of the hotel. But I don't know if I can share Francesco very sure. very quickly. We my... the, yeah, of course. We give the control so we can see the PowerPoint. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very quickly because 
of course, I can introduce you the the, the 17 hotels yeah, I, I represent. So they would, you will kill me afterwards. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yes, uh, as I mentioned, now we have all these uh, beautiful properties. Again, for me, the most important today, the, the message now that I would like to, to send you is that you have always a person, somebody there, especially the family, not taking care of, of your, yourself and your clients, especially. So first property, Borgo Sant'Andrea, we are very excited about this one because it's a new opening, the Amalfi Coast. It's mm -hmm. three kilometers before, before Amalfi town, but more than anything, so it's the only hotel in the entire Amalfi Coast that has the private beach. So this is huge, obviously, for events, no? So you can celebrate anything there. Even the music can be, they are working on, a, on something to have the oh, music wow. until very oh, late. Wow. In... Oh, no. So yeah, they are yeah. really in focus yeah. in this kind of, no, of event because they know how important is that. Every... Sorry, Francesco, sorry, interrupt you. Sorry. You were asking no, no. something? No, 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 no. I just, or... we had a small delay. No, no go ahead. I, I, I go ahead. Okay, sorry. So yeah, very, very quickly, just to give you know some highlights of um, of the, the the hotels. No, the Amalfi Coast obviously, for especially you know for the American market, is one of those destinations uh, that are very important, very requested. So to have something new and with these possibilities, of course, I think it's no uh, very interesting. Maurizio, that was Maurizio. He's also part of the ownership. He's the general manager. The same owners they, that have San Montano Resort in Ischia. Ischia is this island, no, that. Uh, not everybody knows very well. Everybody goes to Capri, to Sorrento, no, and so on. But uh, Ischia is this genuine island that offers so much, especially the only one with thermal pools. So hotels offer, especially San Montano offers these fantastic pools. Yeah. So it's so nice to celebrate the wedding, no, in this fantastic environment and scenery. And again, you have always somebody there, especially in this case, uh, Arcangelo, he's not only the hotel manager, he's also the, the owner's son. <laughs> so he's always, oh, they're it taking helps. care of everything. Exactly. I'm sure you you know, or many of you know, the, the, Fortuna. the, the, the Toscan uh, son. This romantic move that happened in Cortovia, where the Falconiere, this property is located, uh, which is a great location close to uh, Florence, also to hot spots in Tuscany. Uh, in Umbria, but more than anything, you have the family, especially Silvia. Silvia is the owner, one of the few women in Italy that has got the Michelin star. She organizes, obviously, takes care of the, the cooking classes, the, 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 the restaurant. Also, they have a wine. It's just a very true, truly you know, Tuscan experience. No, everything is very Tuscan. But when it comes to events, they really get themselves because they yeah. they they are super flexible. They really like to do anything that helps to make this you not know, amazing amazing wedding or experience uh, to make everybody know very, very happy. Uh, uh, let me ask you, uh, what, I want to stop you one second. Yes. I want to ask you one very simple question Please. for somebody who unfortunately, had, I was part of a wedding, which was mine, which I know the headache, but <laughs> I'm not being a professional. <laughs> I'm asking you, so these hotels also can be a, a point where they can give you the whole packages. They can connect you with the, everybody to, if you don't have your own organizer to make sure, or is it only the venue Absolutely. we are discussing? No, absolutely. They can since they, they, they live there, right? So they are there since ever. They will connect you with any kind of supplier you need. No, it can be the, the, the florist or whatever you need really to make the experience, not in case you, gotcha. you need somebody. Or even if you if you need a local wedding planner, because some wedding planners cannot know no every every region in Italy. So they can connect you with uh, wedding planners, local ones. So yeah, anything you it can need be a one-stop shop if they decided so they can be Absolutely. one stop shop. They connect, they find the venues and then they help. Okay, just just that, so I understand. Right. Perfect, got it. Perfect. Thank you, Francesco. So Castel Fraxford, if you want a wedding in a fantastic center in the mountains, no, we are very close to Austria. Uh, two hours from Verona or North Verona, you have this fairy tale, no, uh, Revenge Chateau, which is by the way, one of the smallest ones, 20 suites, where also for people who want something very, very, very spiritual because they have the first alchemist spa. So, you, you know, it, yes, something for your clients to get inspired to, to have something very, very different no, in Italy. Because Italy, as you know, no, we have amazing properties we've seen so far. So, you know, Piemonte and also, obviously, you know, the, the properties that Erika present. There are so many great locations. I'm a Spanish. I'm in love with Italy. So what can I say? But, yeah, it's uh, the yeah, best uh, compliment when you have somebody from, you know, from abroad. They can choose any country in the world and they think that Italy is amazing. It's even more uh, a compelling argument. Just go ahead. 
Thank you. <laughs> then we have also a, a property close to the Cinque Terre, which is obviously one very popular destination. Golf for the Poeti, the Poets Golf, which inspires so many people. The owner himself, he, he came here, he's from Milan. He came here, he goes so inspired that he decided to buy the, play, oh, wow. the place. And also for weddings, you have the entire property, 25 rooms, because all of these properties are you not know, pretty. The size is around 20, 30, 35 rooms maximum. So it's uh, really, besides the first two, you know, that are 45, but yeah, more, more Intimate. less they have great place sizes for, for small weddings, no, exactly. And the last one, Sardinia, Lantia Resort, that's the one I was here, no, the, the reason I'm here today. Halfway yeah. among Ovitin, sorry, uh, Olvia and Cagliari, we have this spectacular, spectacular property. Oh very, very, God. I like to say it's a, a luxury, rustic luxury, you know, because everything is about nature, which is the main is character it? here, you know. So you have this amazing private beach. The rooms are very contemporary, the, 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 the pineta, you know, the pine trees before the sea, which is a spectacular. And they are, they have 28 rooms and they are your disposal. Um, and I would like, guys, if you mind to, to, Give the the you no know, the 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 small the short video I I I sent you today if you don't Very mind good. with perfect this, uh, no my, yeah okay go video. ahead yes let's see the video. Buongiorno from Sardinia. We are here in this wonderful place. We are here with Andrea, the owner of Lantia Resort. Hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, we are here to waiting you and welcome you for the next uh, season and to celebrate your beautiful weddings here in this beautiful place. <laughs> Thank you. Wait for you here. Bye bye. Ciao ciao. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Amazing. I was Amazing. there this morning. Can you imagine? No, it was beautiful. It's, uh, I mean, Sardinia, it's one of those Perfect. destinations yeah, that can be a country. It's not as known in the United States because you don't have direct flight and all that at the sea, but really is one of those uh, places that people should definitely uh, look twice before moving away from it. So thank you very much, Beatriz. Um, and now we close Welcome. with... With uh, thank you. So we close now with Roberta, not Jahomaida, but Roberta, who's uh, uh, you know waiting patiently in the wind. Hi, Roberta. Welcome. So why should Hi. we come, you know, to the Hyatt, uh, specifically the centric Murano or the centric in Milano? Ciao. Ciao. So um, first of all, I would like to thank you for giving us the chance to uh, introduce you to our beautiful location, that is uh, yeah. Murano. And uh, as I was saying before, I'm part of the marketing team for both um, our properties that are Hyatt Centric uh, Murano Venice and Hyatt Centric Milan Centrale. Nice. So um, today I'm glad to uh, introduce you to our beautiful venue in Venice. Yeah. And on the occasion, uh, we prepare two um, inspirational video of two ceremonies. The first one is the wedding of uh, Elena and Giuseppe. And the second one um, is the wedding of two uh, of a um, gay couple, uh, yeah. Mark and Christian. So join me in this virtual journey through our venue and okay. island. And immerse yourself in the intimacy Perfect. of our. Roberta, very important, just a little housekeeping. Yeah. Once the video starts, you'll see your microphone will go red. Please uh, click and make it green so you can actually talk over it so we can okay. talk over the video, okay? Perfect, okay. let's see the video. Oh wow, here we go. This is of course Murano. Is yeah, so we think that there's no better place for couples to express their adoration for each other um, than in romantic Venice. Uh, so we understand that when it comes to choose where to host a big day, the decision can be difficult since of course there are so many incredible locations in town. Uh, however, our venue is for everyone who wants their wedding to soar above the ordinary, uh, the ordinary Venetian style. Um, and uh, our location is the ideal location for an event up to 80 uh, people. Nice. So, our hotel opened in 2013 and has been recently renovated in 2020. And it's located in the heart of Murano Island 
um, and the important thing is that our hotel uh, has been built amid the walls of a former glass factory uh -huh. uh, and it's just uh, a short boat ride away from Venice, uh, uh, the main island. Gotcha. Uh, and the building, uh, as I was saying, is the ideal spot for um, small and uh, intimate ceremonies and reception. Uh, we can uh, offer both indoor and outdoor spaces uh, for various moments uh, of the event. Uh, our main reception room is the Oster River restaurant that you will see uh, in the video. Um, tucked away in the courtyard of the hotel, this space is nestled in a stylish bioclimatic pergola uh, with soft colored uh, furniture that creates a very intimate and romantic feel all year round. Um, the area comes with a um, lifestyle layout of an atypical imperial table with an extra large fry frau stools. They make, you, uh, they make the bride and groom feel like royalty. Oh, wow. Mm, yeah. Um, whether uh, you have to organize a drink reception, buffet, cuts of cake, or small symbolic uh, ceremonies, you will find uh, the perfect setting on the lounge. It is the one you're staying right now uh, with its one garden appeal or uh, at the waterfront Perio. And okay. if not there, then the beautiful decorated spritz and fits bar um, can suit your needs. Um, then, um, whether uh, Brad wants to hold the ceremony at the hotel, in a glass factory, or in a yacht uh, while they cruise the lagoon, there are so many places to uh, say their vows and make it an, a memorable experience. If they want to organize a traditional uh, church ceremony, um, we have uh, uh, a 10th century basilica just a few steps away from the hotel uh, with this precious mosaic, mosaic uh, flooring and golden apps. Uh, while civil ceremonies can be held uh, uh, on the main island. Um, you see, you're seeing now the video with um, the two guys uh, that are um, getting married uh, in a um, beautiful glass factory uh, near our hotel, uh, just a few minutes walking distance from here, um, mm -hmm. where they take they, their premises, their promises, um, and then um, it is possible to uh, to organize this uh, in an off-site location. That's very nice. Uh, of course, uh, uh, being a, a beautiful and authentic island, um, Murano offers some uh, nice spots, um, some picturesque spots uh, that uh, evoke uh, the architecture of the main island. So um, they can um, they can enjoy uh, a, a very Venetian photo shoot um, on a water taxi, for instance or on a typical wooden boat. The boat that you're seeing now in the video uh, is actually the hotel boat. Oh, wow. Um, it's very cool because, it's sorry if I interrupt you, because I, I, just, I was just there, I just brought my five-year-old this year for the first time in Venice. And sort of going mm -hmm. to Murano, it's really that's sort of, you know, I think of, you know, if you want looking for a nice, quaint, but, you know, intimate sort of um, event, yeah. I think that's a, just the perfect spot because you get the best of the two worlds. You have that sort of Venetian yeah, experience, exactly. but, with the sort of the twist of being a little bit, uh, you know, on your own, similar to what, you know, what she was saying before. Yeah, exactly, uh, because Murano, yeah. it's very similar to Venice, yeah. but actually uh, being less crowded, uh, um, it's it's like a destination of the beaten path. So, better. yeah, it's very uh, true, it's very true. Yeah, and Amazing. then uh, another, uh, I think, important thing to say is that uh, um, we are very close to Marco Polo International Airport, uh, and so uh, this makes us uh, the perfect spot for a honeymoon. And, and it makes it easy for the for the mm -hmm. it makes it easy for the, what do you call it for the for the wedding list because we all know, <laughs> yeah. you know one time and another in your list there's always some glass from Murano so they can actually get it and give it to you they don't have to send it they can buy it and yeah. hand it back to the to the account. yeah and that, then we have a stop right in front of the hotel so <laughs> the, the guests 
and just um, drop off right in front of the property. Amazing. And uh, um, last things I would like to say is that. Um, is this mm -hmm. sorry? Sorry, is this the room? Are you in that in the hotel right now? Is that what we're uh, seeing? Is this one of the well? Rooms? Actually, I'm in one of our uh, junior suites. Ah. Um, I'm not uh, at the at the window because there is a bad light. I so it. it's actually a very beautiful room. Yeah, take, let's uh, take a look at it. Something here. Oh wow! It's very big. Mm. And they in overlook the little canal. That's what they do yeah, from the window. Maybe you can see, the you canal. Can see something. Oh from wow, here. wow, wow! I can see. Oh wow! Yeah. I can definitely see something. Yeah, Amazing. it's very beautiful and very romantic. Mm -hmm. And from here, you can um, you can really uh, breathe the authentic Venice. So. Oh, nice, nice and quaint. Last very thing. Cool. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Last thing is that we have in our staff we have an ex wedding planner that ah. can. Of course, uh, cooperate uh, and help uh, with uh, mm -hmm. local supply, uh, suppliers um, or just giving some suggestions sure. to organize sure. exactly to organize the, the ceremony. And that's Thank it. Thank you. If you want to organize a wedding in a more lifestyle location, we have our hotel located in Milan uh, yeah. that has very beautiful views from uh, on the um, Milan skyscrapers. And that's it. Where, 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 is, where is the one in Milano, just so we know? The one located. in Milano is located uh, very close to the um, um, Centrale railway station. Oh, the train station. Okay, perfect. Is that a modern hotel Is that a, or it's an older building? Yeah, it's, it's a very modern hotel. Okay. Uh, it's, big, it's a big hotel. How many, how many rooms? You, you know? It's a big hotel. It's uh, 141 rooms. Gotcha. While the our uh, in our hotel in Murano has 119 rooms. Okay, still pretty good size. Okay, so I I want to thank all of you. We went a little bit long, but I'm sure all our participants or our attendees are happy about it because we really covered a lot of ground. We have all sorts of different properties from talking about the destinations, so the two premium great hotel chains like Hilton and Hyatt, and of course the charming hotel of Authentico. So. All sorts of information, this is just a sneak peek. You can all direct the questions. I'm sure some of you already have some of your question answer. I wanna thank all of you. This of course concludes this webinar. I wanna thank uh, Tiziana, Erika, Beatrice, and of course, Laura. Thank you, thank you very much. To all of you are they are listening, you will shortly receive an email uh, giving us a feedback. Is it was this too long? Do you like the subject matter? Uh, tell us all you think, and also of course, uh, uh, you know, all the questions that you have that we will forward to the speakers. And finally, this is of course uh, uh, many men uh, jobs. Not, it's not just me blabbering. There's a lot of people behind. I want to thank our friend from, of course, Toronto, Salvatore and Sabrina, from our Los Angeles office, Emanuele Fabrizio, from our New York office, Caterina, Cosmo, and Marzia. Until the next one. Ciao. Welcome back. Bye. Bye, bye, bye everybody. Bye.